Hi folks, it's Max from High on Android.com where we get <laughs> on Android every day. Anyway, I know many of you are waiting for the Galaxy S4. WHERE'S MY GALAXY S4?! <laughs> What's up with that crazy guy? Why does he keep appearing in my videos? Hey, no worries. High on Android.com has you covered. Now you can install Galaxy S4 S Translator, which I think is one of the best features about the Galaxy S4. Uh, you can now install it on your Galaxy S3 or Galaxy Note 2. So I got the app right here, dude. So, S Translator, I'm gonna say something in Korean. How long does it take to live the excrement much? I actually said how long does it take to poop a lot. <laughs> now let's try some other languages uh, that it supports. It actually supports uh, Chinese, uh, UK English, and US English, French, German, Italian, Japanese, Korean, a Portuguese and Spanish. All right, let's try some Italian, baby. Grazia, pizza. Thanks to pizza. All right, next, let's try some Japanese. Watashi dachi wa Hawaii ni ikimashita. And I said I went to Hawaii. We went to Hawaii, um, so that worked. We went to Hawaii. And some Chinese. Ni hao, she she. There you go. Hey, thanks. Same thing. All right. Ni hao, she she. Perhaps you're in Mexico and you need to translate this. How do I get to the red light district? Llego al barrio chino. Who's the current president of United States? Wer der gegenwärtige Präsident von Vereinigten Staaten ist? How many hookers do I need to do my laundry? Right. Anyway, after using the S translator for about a day, I think it's very useful, uh, much better than a Google translator. S translator has much better functionality as far as uh, being able to actually use it in the real world um, since it has uh, input and output language versus Google Translate. Uh, you have to actually set the language and uh, you can't quickly switch between uh, both languages. Let's try a real life example. Um, the S translator has, you know, once you set the language, it will translate in both in real time. Uh, so let's say you go into a library in Korea. So uh, you just pick up this dude on the street and, uh, you know, you start speaking to your phone. Excuse me, how do I get to the library? So, you, so that's exact translation and then um, you can press this button when he starts uh, Korean back to you and maybe maybe he says something like I just said I just said that you have to take the blue bus to get to the library um, so there you go to go to the library I should take the blue bus so this is way better than uh, Google Translate, which does translate, it does a uh, language also. Hello there. And then you have to press oh, yeah. this button. But if you wanna you know, get the answer back, now you have a problem. You will have to, you can't use a detect language because the, uh, the speaker is not supported for that one. So what you have to do is actually go down to uh, Spanish, uh, you know, and then change back to English, um, you know, and by that time, that guy you were asking something about might be gone and probably doesn't want to listen to you. Hola, baritos. All right, so, and in real life, I think, you know, the S translator works a lot better for, you know, everyday languages, and it's a good app, so you should definitely try it out if you're going to a different country. Uh, totally worth it and uh, would be useful. Of course, it's not available for all the languages, Chinese, English, and uh, hopefully they'll add more languages, but it looks pretty good and, you know, this Galaxy S4 feature, you can now get it on your Galaxy Note 2 or Galaxy S3 already. If you own a rooted Galaxy Note 2, a rooted Galaxy S3, 
Uh, you can get the S translator from the Galaxy S4 easily by flashing a zip file in your custom recovery such as Clockwork Mod Recovery or Twerp. And you must be running TouchWiz base ROMs, uh, so stock ROMs or anything that's based off TouchWiz base. I've tried countless times to get it running on my Galaxy S2 and Galaxy uh, Notes, the original Galaxy Notes, um, but it doesn't run. I believe there are some problems with the uh, framework. Uh, but it does work just fine on the Galaxy S3 and also Galaxy Note 2. Um, there is a bug where you can't view the history on the Note 2. Uh, but if you're running the leaked Android 4.2.1 on the Galaxy S3, it runs flawless. Now that you're excited about the Galaxy S4 S Translator, let me show you how to install it on a rooted Galaxy S3 or a rooted Galaxy Note 2. Hi folks, so let's go ahead and install uh, the S4 Translator. Uh, for this to work, you'll need to have a TouchWiz base ROM, uh, as long as it's TouchWiz base, it should be all good to go. And you should be on Jelly Bean 4.1.1 or 4.1.2 or above. I haven't tried on ICS, it might work, um, but why would you be running ICS? First, uh, what you'll want to do is uh, go ahead and download the uh, the zip file and simply you're going to install it in Clockwork Mod Recovery or Twerp Recovery. Next, go ahead and open up your browser and go to download androidrom.com now if you um, I'll actually put the download link in the description or on my website uh, so you can just click there if you don't want to browse through like this uh, but you can go here and click on the APK and uh, you should be able to find uh, Galaxy S4 apps here directory there and then here you'll be able to find the zip file Galaxy S4 S translator uh, version 1.0 zip I put together, since some custom ROMs don't come with Samsung apps, and you actually have to sign in to Samsung apps for this to work. Um, so I've included this, and go ahead and in enter the uh, the CAPTCHA, uh, it says instantly skip, so that's pretty easy. And go ahead and hit download, and this should download uh, the file, now if, if you don't get it there, there we go. Oh, if for some reason it doesn't download, just just reload it and re-download. Uh, it's a bug on the the uh, the site, so you have to download twice. I'm oh, sorry about that. I'm gonna fix it soon. Uh, but next time you can just do click to download there, and this will download the zip file here. Once it's downloaded, we're simply gonna reboot into Clockwork Mod Recovery, and uh, do make a backup ROM just in case. And also, this does include uh, this does install Samsung apps. Um, just so you know because you will have to sign into Samsung apps update the Samsung app software uh, to the latest version and then uh, use the Galaxy S4 uh, if you already have Samsung apps it will you know work just fine just uh, for those of you who don't have it I've included the Samsung apps uh, APK file so it'll work for those of you who have ROMs without Samsung apps so you can sign in um, so when this is done we're gonna go ahead and reboot into recovery uh, there you go, it is done. So I'm going to go ahead and reboot into recovery. Uh, you can just use the soft buttons if you have a custom ROM, or you can do uh, turn your phone off and hold down volume up, center, and power. And of course, you have to have a rooted Galaxy S3 or Note 2. And if you're rooted, I assume you do have a Clockwork Mod Recovery or Twerp Recovery installed. If you don't have that, uh, go to galaxyS3root.com, go root your phone, uh, or go to galaxynote2root.com and root your phone and install. Um, custom recovery. Uh, so once this pulls up, we're going to simply install it, reboot, and uh, pretty much sign into Samsung apps and then run the, the app. Uh, so go ahead and choose, let me show you that again. Uh, let me show you that like this. Go ahead and choose install zip from SD card, hit the power button, go to choose zip from SD card, uh, and go to download. It probably downloaded to the download folder. And I'm going to go ahead and choose Galaxy S4 Translator version 1.0. Uh, ignore the 1.1, I made that, but it's buggy. So there you go. And it should say you're officially now really high on Android. And then go back and reboot the system now. And you should be all good to go. So I'll be back when this is done completely rebooting. Hi right, folks, so it's rebooted. And I'm actually running Synergy ROM on my Sprint Galaxy S3, by the way. Uh, great ROM. Some of you are having trouble, but I like it. Um, go ahead and try to open as translator, and it will ask you to uh, sign in to your Samsung account. If you click OK, 
uh, it will bring up the Samsung uh, account app here. Go ahead and update Samsung account. This will download the latest Samsung apps uh, and update the app to the latest version. And once that's done, um, you should be able to uh, sign in. So let me go ahead and hit OK. It's probably just installing now. Just keep hitting OK. There you go. And go ahead and sign in. I'm going to go ahead and sign in with my account. If you don't have an account, go ahead and make one. All right, I'm signing into my Samsung account. All right, and just hit cancel there. And I'm going to open up S Translator again. And boom, I've got it working here. Uh, let me try some Japanese again. Wadashi dachi wa Hawaii ni ikimashida. I said uh, we, we we are going to Hawaii. We went to Hawaii. That's actually the only thing I can say in Japanese. Well, in some more words, but anyway, you got it working, and uh, go enjoy it. Um, now you should be able to enjoy as translator on your Galaxy S3, Galaxy Note 2. I've tried on other older phones, but does not work. You can try it uh, on the S2. I've got it to act actually work, uh, but it will not use voice. You actually have to type and you know, translate, which kind of beats the point. Um, so that's about it. I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you like this video, as always, don't forget to hit that like button for me here, subscribe button down there, and don't forget to share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+, Plus. whoever has a rooted Galaxy S3 or Note 2 and really high on Android. Yeah, stay high on Android. You have to subscribe to my YouTube channel right now or five of your friends will die. Vous devez souscrire à ma chaîne de YouTube en ce moment où cinq de vos amis mourront.